Uh, guys, thank you for an incredible film, and this is a great book. It's a great screenplay. It's a great film. What thank were some you. challenges creating this world and then kind of adapting it for film? Uh, uh, well, for me, the um, you know the challenge of creating the world uh, 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 took years. You know, it was uh, it started out as this idea of of what if Willy Wonka was a video game designer and he held his golden ticket contest inside his his greatest video game creation, which could be a, a virtual reality video game uh, that kind of encompassed all of uh, pop culture. That that everything kind of grew out of that idea, and then. Uh, followed by making all the riddles and puzzles and clues that he would use to find a worthy successor be related to his passions, his favorite movies or video games or rock bands. And uh, so that it, that idea uh, was the germ of it, but then kind of creating this whole uh, uh, future world and all the rules of the Oasis and all the planets inside of the Oasis and the mechanics of the different sectors and moving through sectors and how the company makes money, all of that, like all that world building was the, was the biggest... Uh, challenge uh, for me in writing the story and and, uh, and also in many ways the biggest challenge in adapting it is that Ernie has created a whole universe you know and and it's fully populated and the characters and also he's told it over a series of time you know over a length of time that w is hard to do in a movie unless you make a mini series out of it so um, you know all of the things you know the the amazing imagination that just spewed out this entire world that part of it was how do we then like tuck it into a two hour and eight minute movie or whatever we're at now. Yeah, um, which, yeah, which I never assumed it was going to be a movie while I was writing it, which is why it's not a lot of the challenges and things are are not uh, very cinematic. You know, some of them are and some of them, you know, like the final challenge with the Atari game is survived all the way from the from the book into the into the movie. But a lot of the other ones, you know, had to be you know, change like well, we go into a different movie than the movies we go into the book, right. uh, and it's not a it's not a movie okey reciting dialogue challenge. It's sure. more being trapped in a funhouse environment of the movie and trying to use your knowledge of the movie to escape it, which I think which harkens back to uh, Zach's first movie, Last Action Hero, which you know kind of helped <laughs> inspire uh, me when I was writing the book. The idea of a uh, kid, you know, I love Last Action Hero so much because I was I grew up like Zach, being a huge cinephile and watching my favorite action movies over and over again and wishing that. All that useless knowledge I had accrued had some real world yeah. value, and that's yeah. why that is what inspired last time. I mean, we literally went back and watched every action movie with like sheets. But um, yeah, it was it was definitely what made that you know that translation from book to movie tricky. Right, is actually where what should have made it tricky didn't exist, which was that I knew Ernie and I'd become friends with them making this documentary about Atari. And he was there approving the changes that we were making and, you know, telling us when we were going too far astray or too far, you know, sure. or that doesn't fit into the world. So uh, to a certain extent, a lot of the kind of personal connections that were, you know, that were formed during the making of it helped us translate because there wasn't a lot of ego about, you know, what you know, what we were going to do. Right, and I saw The Last Action Hero, like, in the theater. There's a, yeah, a little throwback to it, and I picked it up. I was like, uh, oh, that's great. Me, I, uh, Adam Stockhausen, our production designer, was asking me uh, for ideas of things to sneak into the background of our uh, kind of Oasis version of New York, which is kind of geographically impossible and crammed with little... Uh, hidden things from lots of different movies and so we were thinking about oh we could put the Ghostbusters firehouse you see the silver cup sign from Highlander where oh, they have the end what? battle in one point and then you know uh, I was you know kind of thinking about movies that I love that were set in New York and uh and then I thought about Last Action Hero, Zach's movie, uh, uh, and you know when he comes out into the real world, it's out of this movie marquee. And yeah, I, and and I, I said no. Yeah. To be fair, I was like, oh, please don't do that. <laughs> yeah. But, but it was too and late. I didn't, I did not see it. I worked on this movie every day, and I went to every review, and I didn't catch it until the first screening <laughs> of the movie great. that I saw. And I was like, oh crap, he got it in there. <laughs> and I have to admit, I was like, I, I welled up a little bit I was like, <laughs> because it wouldn't have been cool if I had said yes reference my movie right so i was like no don't do that don't do that but <laughs> yeah. then when i saw it i was like oh cool yeah that's cool and what i love about it is you know because we have this other theater marquee uh, of the shining uh mm -hmm. that you go into uh now when i see that in the race i'm like oh if you were in the oasis and you went into that you would probably go into oh, zach's movie and yes. you know you go into that's last action <laughs> yeah. like, <laughs> right it would be meta meta yeah uh yeah that's great